What's up, guys? Um, another video, Hackintosh for Dummies. This video, we're going to be pretty much talking about the uh, kind of the homework you got to do before you uh, get into building your Hackintosh. So let's just get right into it. The first place you should definitely check out Tony Mac x86.com um, sign up you got to do it place to be this is the place you're going to be getting your tools to make your Hackintosh which is iBoot and MultiBeast that's two must-haves for making your Hackintosh um, there's it's a blog it has everything It'll, there's builds recommended builds um, they show you everything you can get, prices, budget power build one, you know, there's the total, all the parts, <clears throat> um, they all look good to me. I recommend anything that you find on this website. Great website. And then there is the form. This is definitely the place to be if you're a big noob. You will learn everything there is from this form I did um, it's definitely a big help you can just post a problem that you might be having and everyone is always willing to help and once you uh, get going I definitely recommend trying to help other people out I do and yeah that's what I'm doing now um, what else do we got here insanely Mac another great form um, I don't really use it that much, but I have found quite a few helpful things on this on this uh, site. Um, try and get this loaded up here. Yeah, it's only Mac .com. Um I'm gonna put all these links in the description. Um, this is definitely a good place to do some do some homework. Just go go through, read some posts. You know, just kind of get the feel of what's going on with the Hackintosh business. Hopefully, it doesn't scare you off, um, because, like I say, I'm not—I'm definitely not a computer genius, and I got my Hackintosh built up and running, and it runs like a dream. Um, this is another place to be. This is the wiki. It's going to show you what components laptops desktop computers that have been you know kind of pre-made like a Dell or something like that that you can kind of hack and tosh successfully um, this is updated all the time it uh, it pretty much just sh shows you what's going on with the, the latest Apple updates if it's safe to uh, do with your hack and tosh or what you have to do after you update um, that's going to be something we'll be discussing in depth later on. Um, like I said, this is just a video to uh, show you some homework you should do before diving in. Um, well, let's talk about the uh, the life hacker build. This is what I based my build off of. Um, definitely a great build. Definitely a great video. Um, great step-by-step -step everything these are all great components they're pretty much all the ones I use um, well, I'll be showing you my complete build later on um, but if you choose to just go ahead and build your computer off of this life hacker build there is a few things that you can't do right up to multi beast because multi beast has been updated and there's a few things different. Also, the texts that he uses will cause your computer to have a kernel panic. Something we will talk about in a later video. Um, looking to buy some computer parts, I definitely recommend going local if you can. Um, because dealing with warranty and anything else is just way easier. But if not, new egg. Everyone's using it. Great place to be. I'm newag.ca because I am in Canada. And yeah, they have everything you could possibly want to build a Hackintosh of any kind. Cheap, super computer Hackintosh. They have all the parts for you. 
Um, I think that'll about wrap up the uh, the homework you should do. Um, yeah, that's about it. Well, let's quickly uh, we'll quickly go over my build here. I'll actually go over and show you with an actual video my actual computer in a, another video. Um, these are just the parts I use. Same motherboard as the Lifehacker build. Uh, great motherboard, great reviews. Check it out on Newegg. Uh, it used a different processor. You can't get the Lifehacker Life Hacker processor anymore. But this is a great one. It gets the job done. Same uh, video card. Um, it's a cheap video card, but it works for me for now. Um, probably upgrade in the future to something uh, quite a bit better. Uh, 8 gigs of G Skill, 1600 RAM. I'll be updating to 16 gigs in the near future. Um, the SSD. Definitely recommend it. I've, uh, I've ran my Hackintosh on a regular hard disk and it just doesn't compare. They're, it's quite an expensive option, but I definitely recommend it. And if you want to have a super fast computer, you got to have it. Another, uh, this is just a regular hard drive, 1.5 terabyte. This definitely gets the job done for plenty of storage. And uh, light on DVD writer, no big deal there. Uh, and Texan Auto 3 case. Um, seems to be a great case. It's pretty quiet um, when the fans are on low speed. And spacious enough for me. And yeah, we'll be, I'll be showing you that in another video. Cooling. This is definitely a big deal. I use a uh, Arctic Cooling Freezer 7 Pro. This has dropped the temperature of my CPU down when I have a full load on by 30 degrees, which is a big deal. So if you're going to be using your computer heavily, um, I definitely recommend aftermarket cooling. Uh, I definitely recommend this cooler. It's I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks and it's easy to install and it really works great. <clears throat> I installed another fan in front of my hard drives for keeping those cool and then uh, this fan comes with the case and it uh, yeah it's a three speed and it works well. And then a, uh, a Bluetooth adapter to get Bluetooth on my Hackintosh. I used an IO Gear GBU421 definitely works great plug and play plugged it right in instantly had Bluetooth connects my uh, magic trackpad to my computer no problem so yeah that's uh, that's my stuff um, like I say I'm gonna be showing an actual video of all all my gear putting it together all that stuff um, I think that might be the next video actually just uh, building building my computer so yeah, until then, um, do your homework. Definitely do your homework when you're, uh, if you're getting into building a Hackintosh. Um, but I will be showing you everything step by step from building the computer to installing everything. So, But it's definitely a good idea just to have the knowledge either way. So, yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you in the next video, which I may be posting today.